What's up guys, hope you're all doing great. Welcome back to another Premiere Pro tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll see how we can do a hand-drawn animation and how we can create something as abstract like this, or how we can draw a heart and we can have an animation like this. So, I mean, it really depends on you what you want to do because you can do kind of pretty much everything. You can, I mean, you can draw images, you can draw shapes, you can write text. And I mean, as I said, it's basically up to you how you want to use this effect. So. Obviously, the first thing you need to do, I mean, you need to have some clips on your timeline. I've got these two clips on my timeline. The first one is when I'm trying to kind of write something here. And then the second one is where I'm trying to draw a heart on the sky over here. And you may have noticed that I've got these two markers here on these clips. So the first marker, if I show you, is basically the point where I'm starting to write something. And if I play this clip, you will see that this is the point where I actually started writing something. And then if I come over here on the second clip, you will notice that this is the point of the marker where I actually started to draw this heart on my clip. So it's just to kind of make my life easier because otherwise I will have to find the point. So I always find it easier to use the markers. And if you, I mean, I would definitely recommend you to use markers because they definitely make your life a lot easier. Now, the next thing you need to do is you need to come in here in your effects library and then search for write on effect, which you will find in the video effects. And then the subfolder is obsolete and then you will see this write on effect over here. And I'm just gonna drag this and drop it here on my first clip. And now you can see that the effect has already been applied. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna increase the brush size so that it's visible. To us and now you can see that we can already see our brush which is currently positioned in the center of my program monitor and now i'm just going to kind of change the color of it as well from white to red so that i mean you can see it easily and now because it's currently positioned here in the center so i mean we don't really want this uh, to be positioned in the center of our program monitor we need this to be positioned here at the tip of my finger so i'm just going to pick this up and place it here where my fingertip is and now this is the point where our animation is going to start so at this point I'm just going to create my first keyframe by coming here in the effect control tab in the brush position and then clicking here on this stopwatch icon and now you can see that we have created our first keyframe and now I'm going to move uh, a few frames forward in my clip and at this point I am just going to select the brush position and will move my brush to the point where my fingertip is and then I'm going to move a few frames again and will move the brush again to that position and then again so basically I'm just kind of following where my fingertip is and that's how you can create this animation let me just go and at this point so you can see how easy it is and once you've done it like three or four times you will just get I mean you'll just be up be an expert in this you won't have any issues at all and this is where our animation is going to kind of end the other thing you can do is obviously you can kind of see that this is not smooth right now the edges are a bit very rough right now so you can come in here in where you can see this brush spacing and just I mean decrease it and reduce it and now you can see that it's pretty smooth now and if I play it you will see that it works absolutely fine the only problem with it right now is that even though I mean at this point we were not even doing anything in the clip but this marker still appears here and to remove it to kind of I mean just get rid of it what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here at the first keyframe where I actually started writing and then I'm gonna move a frame backward and we'll create a keyframe here at the brush size and we'll set the value from 50 to zero. And then I'm gonna move a frame forward at the same position where I started drawing, I started writing in my clip. And at this point, I will create a new keyframe and we'll then set the value, let's say back to 50. And now you can see that the brush has appeared again on my screen. And if I play it now, it looks perfect so guys this is how you can use this write on effect bar i mean and you can as a, i mean you've just seen it yourself that how easy it is and now i'm just going to move it 
to the next clip where uh, I am kind of drawing a heart and let me just play this first of all and you can see at this point I started drawing the heart so I'm gonna come here and I've already set up a marker at this point and I will go in my effect the effects library once again and we'll drag this right on effect and we'll drop it here on my second clip and it's exactly the same process what we did with the previous clip so increasing the brush size to make the brush visible to us and then changing the brush color from white to something more visible which is red and then selecting the brush position and then moving it at the point where our fingertip is and then at this point creating our first keyframe and then moving a few frames forward in the clip and then uh, moving your brush as well and then a few frames again and just make sure that you are actually moving the brush and not the anchor point within the brush because it's pretty easy to kind of mess that up like you saw I just did that did that and yeah Uh, I mean, it, as I said, it's just the same thing. You all, all you have to do is you have to kind of follow where your fingertip is. Uh, in this case, if you are kind of doing any other sort of animation using this effect, then you'll just have to follow uh, that subject to make sure that you are completely aligned and it does not go out of focus or anything else. And now you can see that we are coming to an end and that's where our animation actually ends uh yeah that's that's really it uh yeah so let me just play it now and see how it looks and you can see it looks absolutely fine the only thing with this is again this brush so if i come here and let's say at this point at the start of my clip if i just create a keyframe at the brush size uh at, at the same point where I, I mean not at the same point but just a frame backward I'm gonna go at the point where I started drawing the heart and at this point I'm gonna create a first keyframe and I will set the value to zero and now you can see that the brush has completely disappeared from the screen and now I'm gonna move a frame forward or I can simply use uh, these uh, arrow keys as well to move uh, between the keyframes and at this point I'm going to uh, set the value back to let's say 50 and now you can see that the brush has appeared again on my screen so if I play it you'll see that it looks absolutely perfect so yeah no problems at all so guys this is how easy it is to use this right on effect and as I said before you can use it in I mean in pretty much a lot of a lot lots and lots of ways I mean it's really up to you how you want to use it you can kind of use it to draw images you can use it to draw shapes right takes and as i said it's really up to you how you want to use it so i hope you found this tutorial useful if you have any questions anything you would like to ask feel free to drop that in the comment section and i will try to get back to you as soon as possible i'm now going to see you in the next one so till then you take care of yourself